to see. Hmm? What's wrong, you Zuko? Uh, nothing. I'm verifying I can't wait for this day to be over. So, I get home so I can actually tell Mom that, yeah, I leveled up. But, uh, since you're really actually not a quirk, it's, it's gonna be hard to explain you, really. Hmm. You really think so? Yeah. Me want to be the first quirkless hero is gonna be difficult if I have someone like you just clinging to me. Well, all you have to really do is explain me like I did to you. Yeah, but still. Hmm. As soon as he opens the door to the classroom, everyone bum rushes him, asking him if he's okay, what was that weird person around him. Okay. First things first. This is Emerald Conviction. He's my, technically, the living embodiment of my will. What? So he's not a quirk? No. Yeah, I'm not a quirk. If anything, is I'm just uh, Izuku's raw willpower given form. If anything, I give him quite the boost when it comes to overall attack power as well as defense. In fact, hey, Bakugo, what is it? Try to blow me up. What? Yeah, blow me up. Go ahead. Uh, okay, as soon as Bako tries, yeah, nothing happens. Uh, wait, so then Bako just blows up Izuku and knows what you see is like, what the hell? Yep. Whatever hurts Izuku hurts me as well. But during the fight with the villains, weren't you dodging him too? Well, yes. If if he wasn't gonna hurt you, why? Oh, isn't that obvious? I didn't want the villains to know that secret. <laughs> That's why I actually was more careful. Plus, if I was more preoccupied with being up villains, I would have. Leaving Izuku, who was crazy injured, remember, wide open. What? Huh. So, when few injuries would show up around you, they were actually Izuku's, not yours. I guess. <sighs> Wait, you can get tired? Well, I'm connected to Izuku and he needed a lot of healing after that villain attack. And luckily, Recovery Girl was there, but ew, her quirks downside is a bit much. Oh, okay. So, what you're saying is, you're pretty much able to, to be invulnerable to damage. Yeah, unless you got something that can attack willpower. And the only, my only real weakness is Izuku here. And in fact, he doesn't even have to fight at all if he wants. What? Is Togiyama is like... He's kind of like my dark shadow. <laughs> Are you sure you're not a quirk? Yeah. Because believe me, if I was actually a quirk, oh, he, he would have already manifested me with all the training he's been doing ever since, well, <clears throat> certain circumstances. 
Bongo in his mind is thinking, oh yeah, when I started, when we started mocking him about not being able to be a hero without Quirk, in reality, it's what All Might said to him at, at a young age. <laughs> uh, so, um, Emerald, what's, what are your real abilities? Speed, strength, durability. I'm, like I said before, since I'm connected to Izuku, if he gets hurt, I get hurt, but it doesn't go both ways. At least, no one's really been able to hurt us, luckily, so, at least, no one's been able to hurt me. Hmm. But, all in all, yeah. So... Everyone just look at you. You're pretty much uh, someone who doesn't even need to really fight to get the job done. What else can you do? I don't know. Tokiyami is like, yeah, you, you're my you're my uh, best friend forever. What? Me, you have similar abilities. I mean, yes, mine is actual quirk, and yours is literally a testament to your hard work and unbreakable will. So, <laughs> that's that's amazing. Uh, what? Nothing. Just wow. Uh, I did not expect this whatsoever. I didn't expect you guys to believe me so easily. What do you mean? It's just... I mean, there are some weird quirks out there, yes, but... Um, this is a testament to show how hard you actually were to get to this class. Is Kirishima just pretty much... Right behind Yuzuku, patting him on the back, so, saying how manly that is, that his actual will is able to fight with him. See, Yuzuku, he just doesn't know what to really say here. Like, uh, wow, you guys are a hell of accepting. Huh. I gotta say, uh, I, I didn't expect this. Uh, Makes sense. We barely know each other, but seriously, how how much hard work did you do just to get this strong? I mean, before he showed up, you were you were dealing some damage to those villains. Yeah, but something was off with that no mood thing. What do you mean? Well, it was strong, very strong. As you mentioned. Whatever damage I could do seemed to bounce off when it comes to my punches. Let me see. If it was artificial creative, so chances are there's someone out there who can give and take away quirks, or at least make quirks and give them to people. Which is, no joke, terrifying. Not to mention that thing, I think it was as strong as All Might. What? So when they said that, yeah, that thing is here to kill All Might, they weren't kidding. Whoa, okay, so, yikes, that is terrifying to think about. Yeah, I couldn't do anything, but luckily, that it's just what I needed to allow emeralds up here. I would have died otherwise. Yeah, no kidding. This is a lot to think about. As the school day ends, Izuku heads home. But as soon as he, he tells Inko what happened, all she can think about is like, so you, I was already going to chew out your way for allowing this to happen, but 
this has actually allowed you to get stronger. Yep. So what you're saying is you you gained some new found strength upon surviving a near death experience that almost killed you. Yep. Oh, huh, that sounds similar to no, no, no. We are not doing that. What? Is not is not like that anime. Kind of the sound? No, it's not. It, it, this is different. This is different. <laughs> hey, I'm not. I'm not gonna. You, you, I'm not gonna get a new transformation with glowing, flowing hair or anything. Are you sure? Yes. Trust me. It is. Yeah, emeralds. Are, yeah, I, I. I. I know we're close, but I. I really doubt he could. I don't. I don't think there's any transformations in the future for him. No, unless he gets that quirk, maybe. But no. Huh. All right. Sure. But. Whew. This is a lot to really think about. Yeah, I can only imagine. They say in class, so, "All right, kids, <clears throat> let's uh, let's talk sports festival." We are still doing it, but sadly, we're going to, have to close for two weeks on account of the villain attack. What? Yep, so no classes, no courses, no hero training whatsoever. In fact, you can take this time to actually train your quirks. Uh, you're serious? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I am. He's actually pissed at this, but also it's like... Oh, actually, this could work out in my favor. All I need to do is really train with Emerald and poof, there. It's like, okay, but what kind of training shall I do? Until he gets the... He's, over... He's already stronger than me. I can spar with him. Yeah, that, that, that works. Him walking home, all sorts of excited to try uh, all this training out, but then he's, he hears screaming. He runs out up into an alley and just notices this dude just stabbing into this hero. He's, Wait, what are you doing? Fake heroes need to die. Leave, or I will kill you too. Say, uh, <clears throat> hell no. Really? You willing to die for someone you don't know? Yes, that's what a hero does. And I do want to be a hero. Admirable. But I am a man of my word. As, yes, this is Stain. The hero is still alive, but... Barely. As Zuku, he goes in and starts running in and starts beating out. Well, he tries to beat up Stain, but the only thing is, Stain is more nimble. He's more used to fighting in enclosed spaces like an alleyway. So, Zuku is clearly at a disadvantage. Before Stain can actually deal the final blow, here comes Emerald saving his ass and breaking so the sword Stain was going to use. Oh, you got to be kidding. As Stain tries to use Bloodlust Binding, but Izuku, he's like, Oh, wait, I can do that too! As he turns it back on Stain, in which they're actually equal when it comes to the Bloodlust. Stain is surprised, yet intrigued to see how far this kid is actually willing to go. So that's an interesting quirk you got there. And while Izuku is trying to stay calm, he's thinking about the hero as well as Stain. It's like, 
Oh, wait. The hero's... Wait, wait. Careful. His quirk. What, what, what about his quirk? Don't let him cut you. As... Yeah, Izuku... He's... So... Your quirk has something to do with blood. Yes, yes it does. But... As... The hero is slowly fading out of consciousness... There's two of them! Before he passes out. Izuku's like, wait... Two as Stain... Shows... Uh, stand. Yeah. Stain has one, too. With two dual swords. In which... Izuku's... Like, so you have two quirks? I guess. But weird. I never met someone with a quirk so similar to mine. As Stain and Izuku fight, Stain stands along with Izuku's are dueling out. In which Stain is technically it's like, yeah, th this battle is already determined. All things considered, because there's no way you can hurt my quirk. So, so there's a chance he, that he really does have the same power as me. Because as soon as Stain's stand cuts Emerald, it leaves a mark. It, it leaves an actual mark. As soon as Stan's punches Stain's, Stain feels it. Upon this realization, it's pretty much a war of who can last longer. Who, who's the strongest here? If Emerald Convention goes after Stain, that leaves him open to an attack from his stand. When it comes to Stain being on the alleyway, he's already at advantage. So Izuku, he does what he can with his big boy brain and tries to draw Stain out in the open. With no walls to jump alongside, no nothing to really cling to. Yeah, Izuku... He forces Stain to really an all-out fist fight, trying to dodge each and every one of his blades, which is going pretty well up until when Hero starts to show up, and Izuku gets distracted long enough for Stain to nick him. Not enough to really kill him, but enough to draw some blood. But luckily, it's actually All Might, as well as. Dead arms, Mount Lady actually showing up, as well as Ingenium here. As Stain leaves, he can't take it on that many heroes, especially when it's All Might. But before Izuku falls to the ground, he said, Hero Killer? And he points it in the alleyway, saying that there's a hero in there that needs help. And luckily, this was the real debut of Stain being here. This was, let's say, his first or second victim. It was supposed to be. So they say Izuku, not only did that hero survive, they know about Stain way more. As well as Izuku given the whole thing, like, yeah, he has an interesting quirk. As well as, as he looks at All Might, he has a power similar to mine. As, okay, so way, okay, his, okay, let's see, his quirk does this, you know, if he takes your blood, you got to eat out for, uh, yeah, 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 X amount of time, blah, blah, blah. So let's talk about this power that's similar to yours. Izuku explained it to the heroes the best he can. Which is a okay, so wait. What you're saying is we can't hurt him if his uh, stand is in the way. No, he's practically impossible to be unless you have someone 
withstand like mine or something. So we're just saying is we're screwed if, it, if one tries to go up against him. Well, yes, if his stand is the one protecting him, yeah, it's pretty much impossible to really beat him. I was only able to do any real damage because I have one too. So, as you can see, yeah, I got cut. He was just looking, I was just looking enough to not get any blood drawn.